solid figures. It's a lot of fun. All right, anyway, let's get to it. Here's our schedule for the day, and like always, we're going to start out by doing the learning target and talking about that. We're going to talk about key vocabulary, solid figures combined, and then we're going to learn to combine your solid figures to build something. Okay, let's take a look over here first. Here's our learning target for the day, and we have combined solid figures to make new shapes and things in the real world. Okay, so we're going to take those and actually going to make things that we can do in the real world. Let's take a look first at our key vocabulary. I know we've already done this, but uh, it's very important to make sure we understand it, so I want you guys to write this down, even though you might already know what it means. And it is combine. When we take, two, or take, whoopsies, when we take two objects and put them together to make something new. Whoops. So we're gonna, when we take two objects and put them together to make something new is called combining things. Okay? All right. So before we actually get into combining our plane figures, I want to just make sure we all remember what each one is. So our first one here, if we zoom in a little bit, is called a cone, kind of like an ice cream cone. Okay, our cone, it's got a circle at the top, it comes to a point. Then we have our sphere, which I was spinning on my hand before, which is a basketball, kind of a tennis ball, all the types of balls. Our earth is also a sphere. Okay, it stays there. Then we have a cube, which is a 3D square. Okay, it's a block, it's got a bunch of different faces. All right. Then we have a square pyramid, which is also like our pyramids in Giza. A square pyramid because it had, forms a square at the bottom. Okay. Then we have our, uh, our, our cylinder. Our cylinder makes two circles on the edge. It's kind of like a pipe, sends water through it or anything else through it. It's our cylinder. And last, these are both very similar. These are rectangular prisms. Okay, we have a rectangle and it's 3D shaped. Oh. Hello boys and girls. Today we have another challenge problem where you can earn some bill bucks. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I just put some pictures of solid figures and it says you must use at least four of these solid figures. What I want you to do is go home or at home, create anything you want. Could be art, could be a tool, could be anything you can think of. I want you to take at least four of those solid figures and put them together. These can be things you can find at home. You know, some of the options for the solid figures are spheres, cones, cubes, rectangular prisms, square pyramids, or cylinders. All, all of those things can be found at home. Let's see what you can make. If you bring something in, I will give you some extra bill bucks. Good luck! And your geometry joke for the day is who invented the round table? The answer is circumference. Alright, so we have all of our shapes here. Um, now we can take a look at these. We have one, two, three, four, five different solid figures. Uh, we have a, a rectangular prism, we have a cone. We have cylinders, or two cones and two cylinders. You're saying, what can we make out of this? Well, we can make millions of different things. But uh, the one I wanted to make is, is this. I'm going to put my rectangular prism here. I'm going to just draw the easy version of it. Okay, I'm going to put the cylinders right here. Oops. And I'm going to put our cones right here. Now, if you could imagine this, if you could imagine this in 3D, this could be a sandcastle. Okay? What else could we make? Well, we could make... I don't know, Miss Heather, what else do you think we could make? Um, a rocket ship. A rocket ship? Sure, let's try it out. So, we have a rectangular prism, we have our cones, and maybe our... our uh, Let's do this. 
We'll start over. Rectangular prism. We have our two cones. And then our fire coming out. And then the head of the rocket ship. Okay? These Rectangular, these, these solid figures can be put into many different shapes. And that's usually done by building different things. Now if you come, come close to me, I have done this with some clay. So if you have clay, you can do this at home. It's a lot of fun. You can build almost anything you want. So, Miss Heather, can you come real close here? What are these? Miss Heather, do you know? These are called? Cylinders. Cylinders, okay. I have made four cylinders. I know they're not perfect, but they're the best I can do. And I've also made a rectangular prism. Now, what could I do with this? Well, I could do a lot of different things. First thing I could do is that. I've made a table, okay? If I make it even further down to the ground, I could make a bed. If I put it up like this, I could make a very fancy bed. It has a cover on top of it, and you sleep in there like a prince or a princess sleeps in, okay? I could make a car, because wheels are actually cylinders as well. So it drives, I know they don't stick very well to it. But all around the world, all over the place, we have different solid figures. Using clay, we can make our own solid figures and combine them together to make new shapes. So, I've got two things. I'm going to tell you the key word for the day to write down onto your notes to make sure you watch the video. Our key word is castle. Castle, like the castle I made out of these different solid figures. And our geometry joke for the day, what do you call an adorable angle? It is cute. Oh, Sue.